Hey, Sugarfoots. How you guys doing? I'm back with another tutorial. Um, so please like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, and click all so you can get all the notifications when I upload anything. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to do a rolling tray without using spray paint. Okay? And just using um, regular paint. Okay, and today's color I want to get is orange. I'm trying to get an orange. So, um, yeah. Everybody knows, well, if you don't know, red and yellow. Red and yellow make orange. So, I'm going to make up my own color orange using red paint and yellow paint. Just trying to make sure I'm going to have an even amount of paint and it should be enough to complete a whole tray more than enough so I'm just gonna get right into it it's gonna do a layer of red okay I'm gonna do a layer of yellow I think that's an even amount okay Oop. I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, excuse me, let me grab a tray. And for this one, I want to use a rectangle tray. Um, let me grab another one. This one seems to have something on it. I should have been ready. Um, okay. It's telling me. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix the two. Mix it very, very, very well. Okay. I'm just going to mix it until I get the orange color that I'm looking for. And I might have to add more yellow to get that orange that I'm looking for. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more yellow. I see it turning a little bit more orange versus the red and I'm clearly still going to have to add some more of the yellow <laughs> until I get it the orange that I'm looking for period okay and just keep mixing 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 it's trying to get there it's trying to get there it's trying to get there it's not quite there yet Right there yet. This should do it. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't mixed colors to get another color in a while. I did a, a black and a white and a little bit of a brown to get like this dark grayish color and it came out pretty good for some dominoes that I was making that I made. Okay, so this orange is pretty cool to me. I like it. I'll go with it, and it kind of matches the orange that she wanted for her, um, the images that she wants on it as well, so that's cool. Or do I want, let me see. Yeah, that should be fine. 
Or do I want it a little lighter? Just a little bit? Mm, decisions, decisions. Mm. I want to say <laughs> just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. And I'm just trying to move my paintbrush around side to side, back and forth, just to make sure I got all the red and all the yellow out of it. I don't want it popping up on my tray when I go to start wiping. Okay, so this should be enough for a whole tray, to do a whole tray. And I'm just gonna get right into it, so. Bring this down a tad bit to make sure you guys can see. Okay. All right, I don't wanna get this on my laptop or my mouse, okay. So I'm just gonna start painting, okay. Just gonna start painting. And I do wanna, you know, do it all one way um, I might have to do a couple coats I'm not sure I'm not sure but I wanted to make a tutorial for people who don't have you know spray paint and just have the paint but you know I want to make a rolling tray so, I'm just trying to do a lot of different, um, different tutorials on a lot of different things, different ways to do stuff. Okay. Um, this is my first time doing it. <laughs> I know it can be done. So I was like, let me just do a tutorial on it. So it comes out the way I want it to. Um, then you guys can start doing it like this as well if you want. Some people um, just love to craft. Some people like to go the long way, you know. Some people like to, you know, take the shortcut and just spray paint. But some people like to just do it the long way it's fun you know it is and i'm just gonna um do one good nice good coat on this and then i'm gonna let it dry and i'll come back and do another one but i want to make sure that i get the whole tray before I just sit it down to let it dry. And you might get a little bit of paint on you if you don't use the gloves. But you know, it's all right. It's all right. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. It's all right. You guys ever say something, say a word, <laughs> and it make you think of a song? Yeah, that just happened. <laughs> and I hope you guys can hear me. I, sometimes I, I tend to talk a little low and think I'm loud and I ain't. So, sorry. I believe my volume is all the way up. I believe so.
I do like the way the orange came out, if I do say so myself. You know, I do like it. I'm just trying to make sure these corners get an even amount before I let it sit to dry for the first coat. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit. Um, sorry, I had <laughs> I got a message that I needed to to send. All right, I'm gonna let that sit and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So here is the tray, all dry. It's all dry and ready for me to put some vinyl on it. Now, I already have my pieces that I want to use. I already have them cut out. So I'm just going to cut the extra off so I can weed it out. Maybe I made the three a little bit too big. Maybe. But maybe not. I don't know. So we're gonna see. So I'm just this is big enough for me to just take off if I don't have to use I call it a scalpel. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I call it a scalpel, the little weeder. If I don't have to use it, then I don't use it. But if it's big enough for me to do this, I'll just do it. Um, see, here it is. I call this a scalpel. <laughs> so, um, I got this vinyl from Joann's. I'm just going to place this on here like so. You guys can see me. Okay, I'm just going to place this on here like so. How I see fit. Okay. I'm just going to line it up. 
Okay. Just place it on down like so. Okay. And there's my three. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then for this, I'm going to leave this off. Bring this down a little bit. So you guys can see. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there you have it. So I'm nervous because this transfer tape, it shouldn't take up any paint. It shouldn't. So we're going to see. Because this transfer tape, this is the Orco from, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's pretty light, so it shouldn't take off any of my paint. That's the only other thing I'll be concerned about is the transfer tape ripping off my paint. But this one's pretty light, so it should work pretty well. We'll see. I cut that just right. I didn't even measure it. <laughs> kind of eyeballed it, but yeah. I did good, I did good. Okay. Put that on there like so. Sorry about my little messy work surface over here. You pretty much wanna just, you know, go through here back and forth until you can see the outline of each letter, when you can see the outline of each letter, with the transfer tape, then you know that it's, that it's pretty much ready to be pulled off. Um, so let's see. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. So with this permanent, the permanent vinyl, it really gets on my nerves because it, it does this. And so you have to really like, literally take each one and kind of like lift it up yourself onto the transfer tape. That's why I really kind of like, don't really like using the permanent vinyl, but I've been needing it for a lot of the things that I make. So this is just something that I gotta do sometime. And if you know, you know. So just bear with me while I get through this. Okay. And if you tend to roll it, if you like roll it, it comes off um, better as well. If you just roll it, um, it's probably going to not work because I'm, I'm <laughs> doing a tutorial, so it's going to act funky. But if you tend to roll it after you get a little piece of it off, it tends to just come right off like that. You know what I mean? Once you get a little piece off, once you get a little piece off, you can just like roll it and it'll come off.
Yeah, I decided to make a tutorial for this because one day I was like, dang, I ain't got no spray paint that that's color, but I got the regular paint and I know how to mix colors together to get a certain color, you know. And if you don't, just Google it. You can just say what colors make orange, you know, it'll tell you. Um, so now I'm just going to take my time and center this to the best of my ability. Okay. I'm just going to place that on there like so. I'm not going to put too much pressure on it because like I said, I don't want this transfer tape to take any of my paint away. So I'm just lightly rubbing it across and then I'm going to gently pull it back. You always want to go pull it off at an angle. Gently pull it back. Ooh, that's why I love this transfer tape. Orco transfer tape. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Oh, I love it. It's just so smooth. But then here you go. And this is it. This is what she wants. She wanted an orange tray with the Syracuse on it. With the number three instead of the S. And now all I got to do is seal it. So, um, yeah. That's it. I'm not going to do the um, epoxy part on here, um, but I can with another on another tutorial. I'm not going to take the epoxy out tonight, though, but I just wanted to come on here and show you guys that you could do this. Um, do a tray with regular paint if you don't have any spray paint at home. So 